Nissa and Nahiri have become complete, so let's take a look at their cards from the set. Nissa is either 7 mana or 5 mana and 4 life. She upticks to create an XX where X is her loyalty, so you're getting a pretty beefy or a really beefy horror creature onto your battlefield. Her minus 1 straight up destroys an enchantment or artifact, so she's easily dismissing unnatural permanence your opponent's control. Her minus 7 is insane. All of your creatures get trample and plus 1 plus 1 for each forest you control. This ultimate is maybe even better than perennial finisher crater hoof behemoth, and if you cast her for 7, you can do it the turn she comes down if you need the win con immediately. Nahiri's back and she has blades for arms. She's either 4 mana or 3 mana and 2 life, so if the abilities are good, we might have some constructed playability. Her uptick forces a creature to attack each combat if able, so you can force decisions on your opponents that they don't want to make and pull a creature into harm's way. Her other uptick lets you discard a card to draw a card, and that synergizes with her ultimate. You exile a creature or equipment from your graveyard with mana value less than Nahiri's loyalty, and you get a token copy of it right onto the battlefield. You have to exile it at the beginning of your next end step, but that's enough time to do a lot of damage. What do you think of these two walkers?